Now that the simulation's finished, what I'm going to do is visualise the temperature on a plane for each fluid and the metal. So just selecting location and plane, hitting OK, and then choosing the ZX plane and hitting apply. So once you've created your plane, just click an axis that's normal to it. The next thing to do is select colour, change constant to a variable, and the variable we're interested in is temperature. Just hit apply when you're ready. So what you see here is that the temperature for the inner fluid drops as it moves along the pipe, and the temperature for the outer fluid increases as it moves along the pipe from right to left. So the next thing to do is calculate the power output from the inner fluid. So the first thing we need to know is what is the average temperature at the outlet? Because it's pretty difficult to approximate from using things like colour plots and their legends. So I'm going to show you a way to do it using the CEL language or just using expressions. So hitting expressions and right clicking and selecting new. So I want to know temp mean inner outlet. So that's just the mean temperature at the inner fluids outlet. One thing we need to know is what that boundary is actually called. So if I go to fluid inner and the inlet's called inlet and the outlet called outlet. So just jumping back to my expressions. I want to know the area average. So right clicking, selecting functions, CFD post, and then area average. In the brackets, we want to type the variable. So in this case, it's temperature. And we know it's a CFX built in one because it's gone to italics. And we know that the boundary is called outlet. So just writing outlet and hitting apply, we get the value of the average temperature at that outlet. I can also do the same for inlet. So what I'm going to do is right click, duplicate, and just call it temp mean inner inlet. And we know this because we can read from the colour plot and we know what we put into the simulation. But just to proving the point, that's just going to become inlet. So now I can completely use the CEL language to determine this heat transfer. So we know to determine the power, we've got our equation Q dot, so rate of heat transfer. It's going to be the mass flow times the CP and then the delta T, so the change in temperature between the inlet and the outlet. I can find mass flow using CEL. I know this is going to be 4200 joules per kilogram per Kelvin and we've already found our delta T's. So let's just jump back into CFX post and say power from inner fluid. So first thing is m dot, so the mass flow rate. So the mass flow, mass flow at the inlet. Just putting this in brackets. Times your CP. So in this case, it's going to be four thousand two hundred square brackets joules per kilogram and then capital K per Kelvin. That's my CP. And I'm going to multiply this by the difference between the two temperatures. So it's temp mean inner outlet 
and just to save a little bit of time minus inlet making sure that's and when you're ready just hitting apply and what you'll see is first of all that we've got a 33 kilowatt heat exchange from the inner fluid what you'll also notice is that CFX has picked up the unit of watts because when we specify the temp mean we use an inbuilt temperature so we already knew the units for that we've carefully specified these ourselves and mass flow is again a built-in function so it knows that so that's how to calculate the heat exchange from one fluid if you liked the video guys or you found it useful please like and subscribe